Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today we are going to review the Winter Village Fire Station set. This is set number 10263. It sells for $99.99 in the States. Uh, anywhere between $89.99 or $99.99 Euro in Europe. And I think $84.99 in pounds. Anyways, uh, I think it's a pretty solid set. That's just my first impression after having seen it totally built for the first time. And before I get into the review, let me just say thank you to LEGO for sending this set over to us to do a review. We're really, really happy with it here. And, um, well, anyways, I'm not sure which part of the set to jump into first, so let's just focus on the big one. This is the fire station. So the fire station does come with three minifigures. They all have the same print for the body with uh, different face and hair prints. I'll get into those guys right after I'm done with the fire station. But taking a closer look at the building itself, there's a really nice combination of tan and dark red. Those are, I would say, are the two primary colors for the outside of this build. What we have is a pretty good uh, very simple outlining for the top of the roof. I know some of these creator expert sets can get very, very complex. You can, you can get some really interesting details at the top, but they actually kept it quite simple, I would say, for a lot of this external detailing on the outside of the fire station, all in all. As you slowly kind of pan down, you can get a slightly better look at some of the detailing for, let's say, the frosted windows or the tops of the window sills. Lots of little one by one clip pieces made up this type of detailing and definitely the extended bar pieces. Outside you've got yourself a little snowman and on the other side some snow covered steps that goes up to the second floor with a little fire hydrant. Really, really good detailing here. I, I think the red doors really do pop out quite well or pop in, I should say, quite well for this build. And let's check out the interior on the other side. So the second floor has quite a lot of interactive features. You can see there is a little fold out bed for the firefighters. And when it folds in, actually, you can see some uh, a little calendar and also a picture of their favorite dog. That's the that's the Dalmatian that comes in the set. Um, there's the dog bone. So this is, I guess, the little dog bed. I'm just grabbing them from across the way. But yeah, so the dog can kind of hang out in this corner. And here we have the dining room. There are two little swivel chairs. Of course, there's a hot dog because why wouldn't there be a hot dog? And then this is in the back where the kitchen is where you would make the hot dog. So there's a sink, pan, and also a coffee machine. Very, very well tucked in there. This is the phone. I would guess the emergency phone maybe for when they get a call. This is the radio so they can listen to the radio. And yeah, that's just a lot of different little things fit into a relatively small space. I also like that they use the golden flexi tube as the uh, the fire pole for minifigures to go down. So this isn't like the play set where you get from city sets, you have that kind of twisty one where the guys kind of spin down in the little action function. This is more of just a better looking display piece where you can still clip firefighters onto the outside if you like. Now moving uh, up, or sorry, down, to the first floor, we've got two extended fire extinguishers, an extra hat. Uh, these are some more tools for firefighting, the clock. And that is just about it. You can push that door through. You kind of have to have them close at the same time, but they, they kind of lock and clip into place. But other than that, that is it for the interior of the bottom. Pretty well complete. I really do like that second floor the most. And uh, yeah, I would say it's a really solid build for the fire station as a whole. And before I forget to show you guys, this is what the rooftop looks like. Uh, there isn't a whole lot going on here, but what you can see, what you can see is a little light brick. Um, you can't see it that well in the full light here, so let me turn off the lights. Well, let's see what that looks like, I don't know. Uh, you can't see it as well either there. Let me turn off the other light. Ooh, that's like too dark now. Let me play with the camera settings. Might be a little grainy, let's see what that is. Ooh, that's better. Now you get an idea of what that does. So just about all of the LEGO Creator, not all, several of the LEGO Creator Winter Village sets have had light bricks in the past. And there's something to it. You know, I think it adds to the ambiance of the, uh, of the scene a little bit. And to be fair, I've really boosted up the settings on the camera right now, but it does look pretty darn cool especially from the outside. 
So anyways, I think the light brick being exposed, woof, I can take the roof off. The light brick being exposed the way it is on the roof, I don't think looks particularly good, but um, it really does look pretty cool from the outside. So anyways, there's the light brick and that's what the function looks like. When it comes to the firefighters, we get these three figs. We've got the female firefighter with the red kind of bob haircut. I think that came from Black Widow maybe a year or two ago, uh, first time around at least. And uh, yeah, we've got six, or sorry, eight gold buttons and the back with just an extended bit of some more buttons and the belt. But pretty good looking guys. I actually added these tan pieces here that hold onto the alternate firefighter hat just for a display. I don't think those pieces actually came in the set, but uh, this is looking pretty solid with the nice gold firefighter hats. Now the fire station or firefighters wouldn't be complete if they didn't come with their own engine. You can see the sticker detailing says ladder four, and you have another four on the top part of the engine of the engine as well. I like the red wheels that match up with the red body. The archway pieces that move along to the top look particularly good, especially when combined with that new one by two slope piece with the cut in corners. I like that a lot. There's plenty of space for the figs. You can move the ladder out. This is pretty small, so the ladder doesn't extend, but considering the time period from when uh, this engine was supposed to be around, I don't think they had extending ladders either. That's a nice little sticker on the edge. And all in all, I would say this fire truck really does look quite good. I would put it on par with um, one of the more recent uh, Lego Creator winter sets that came with that wonderful build for the bus. This is really kind of on the same level as that. So it does fit in quite well with the overall build and looks pretty darn good. For the next largest build in this set, we have the frozen over fountain or the converted uh, hockey ring, whatever you want to call it. It comes with or the one minifigure here that's really meant for it is this kind of adolescent boy. He's got the younger boy's face, uh, but the longer legs, so I would say he's probably a teenager if I had to guess. This is a single black stud with a little open hole that is to imitate the actual puck itself. But the build is pretty darn nice. I like the four by four smooth tile curves that we've got. This is now a pretty common piece. I remember when it was brand new and now we're getting a bunch of them in a lot of sets so that's nice this is now the fourth of the gold uh, firefighter helmet so you get four of these in the set which is fun and uh, i guess this is the end of a fire hose that would be my guess but of course the statue doesn't uh, have any room for adding an extra hose piece we've seen these before i believe these were details on the Green Ninja Mech Dragon from the Lego Ninjago movie. And all in all, it's a very, very simple build with tons of trans light blue tiles. Uh, yeah, and it looks really, really good. And what is probably, actually, I would say the second largest build outside of the fire, the fire station. Maybe I misguessed when it came to the ice skating rink. But the Christmas tree is probably the second biggest build, especially when you think of it just in parts. It really does have a wonderful quality, though. The plate here is these wing plates there's just four identical bits of building that you attach on four square sides which makes up the shape of the tree this is a really really big star in trans yellow i like that it's just so darn massive and then a couple of presents that are lying underneath the christmas tree uh, this is my new favorite piece that's come in that's that rounded over one by two with open stud hole it's just such a useful piece uh, and i'm glad that they used it for the little train build. That's also a black ice skating piece. Uh, those are great for detailing. Wonderful build for a Christmas tree. I think lots of people have been excited to get another version of a baby fig. This time he's got, uh, he's molded in the uh, teal. Sorry, the uh, that's the new, that's the, sorry, the, the revisited old color that came back. And he's got the wonderful smiling little baby head. The head itself can move around, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, he's on the sled, and I believe this would be his older sister pushing him through the snow. She's wearing a flannel. That piece has been used on, uh, you know, other guy minifigures before. But remember, flannels are warm, and it actually really works for this character. This is a flexible little bit that makes up her, uh, her scarf here. And moving down to the actual last bit of building, really, for the, entire, for the entire set, it's just this bench. And I think we always get a bench or very often we get a bench uh, with a little lamppost. That's just such a picturesque 
bit of uh, scenery that we see during Christmas time, or at least people like to always show during Christmas time. And sitting on the bench is our saxophone player. So instead of uh, carolers like we sometimes get, or other musicians, this is the saxophone player. I like that he's got those little, uh, you don't call them pauldrons. I'm, I forget the name of that little shoulder decoration there, but it looks great. He's got a wonderful little print for a mustache. And let's look at the set all together. I would say this whole set is exactly what I was looking for when thinking about a Winter Village set. The design is original, which I like. So this fire station has never been done before in the past. And this isn't sort of like an updated version. We just simply have never gotten a Winter Village fire station. I think it looks excellent. The build style and quality of the designs is very, very good. We got the correct amount of minifigures. I would say sometimes the other sets maybe came with one extra for the amount of parts, let's say, that we got for it. But remember, we do get a dog and we also get a new baby fig. Uh, all in all, the play area can be spread out quite well. There's one, two, three bits of main land building that you can set up scenarios with and a, another great vehicle build on top of it. So this is exactly what I was hoping for when I heard about the next wave or sorry, the next set that would come out for 2018. So this is a good one and that's it. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoy our content, uh, please like or subscribe. And thanks again to the Lego group for sending this set down to us to review. So bye guys. See you next time at Brickfall. Oh, hey guys, just popping in very quick to let you know that we have a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some very high quality mocks built by some incredibly talented designers that we work with from all around the world. So anyways, if you wanna help support the channel, www.brickvault.toys, uh, you get some really cool stuff, definitely worth checking out. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.